Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to show you how you would add a hardwired zone to a DSC Power Series Neo security system. Now we have a, a wired motion sensor here that we're going to be using for our demonstration purposes. Um, but uh, first I want to talk a little bit about the Neo. Uh, the Neo is a hardwired system and it has onboard zones uh, for you to add hardwired sensors. Um, if you need to, this, this one has eight hardwired zones on there. Um, each zone is set up with an end of line resistor um, that tells it that the zone is closed. Um, so you need to have those at each zone even if there's a zone that you're not using with the system. Uh, if you need to go beyond eight wired zones, then uh, you can get a zone expansion module to add additional zones. But in our case, uh, we're just adding one zone at zone number one, um, in our case. Uh, so we don't need that expansion module. But uh, we do have our sensor here. And uh, we already have it wired up uh, at the sensor itself. Uh, we did the four-wire connection. Uh, now, just to be clear, some zones are only going to use a two-wire connection in which case that's just transmitting a zone status. A zone status is being transmitted uh, between the sensor and the panel. Uh, that's common for door and window contacts, where it just needs to know that uh, whether it's opened or closed. Uh, but in our case, we have a powered sensor, um, like a motion sensor. Another example would be a glass break detector. They use both power and uh, zone status transmissions. So we're going to have two wires uh, for power, um, which are the red and black wires, and then we have two wires for zone status, which are, in our case, the green and the white wires. So uh, we already have ours uh, set up, and we do have a resistor, an end-of-line resistor, that's uh, wired in series. So that way it'll know that when the zone's closed, uh, you want, you remember, you need to have a resistor at each zone. Uh, the NEO comes with 5.6K ohm resistors. Uh, that's color code uh, green, blue, red, gold. Um, those are included, so make sure you have an end-of-line resistor at each zone. Uh, so we just wanted to show the wiring um, at the motion sensor. Um, since this is a motion sensor, it's using a four-wire connection with two wires for power and two wires for zone status transmission. Um, so um, we have uh, the, the red wire going to positive power, the, the 12 volt. Um, the black wire going to the negative ground connection. Uh, those are both for power. And then for zone status transmission, um, so, so we have the white or yellow wire. In this case, it's white. Um, it's coming into the, the common terminal. And then we have a resistor wired in series. Uh, so we took uh, the resistor and we put it into the, and we put one end into the normally closed terminal. And then we use um, a B connector and a crimping tool uh, to crimp the, the green wire incoming and with the resistor at the other end. So the, the green wire coming in, um, one of the zone status transmission wires, isn't connected to one of the sensor terminals. Uh, it's wired in series. Um, with, their, with the resistor going into the terminal. So that's how you would set up a four-wire connection. Remember, if you're just doing a two-wire connection, what you might use with um, a door and window contact um, or a non-power device, it's just going to do zone status uh, wires. There'll be two wires for zone status, and there won't be any power wires involved for the sensor. So for the power connections, uh, we're going to connect to the aux uh, port right here on, on the panel. Uh, we're going to move this backup battery out of the way because that's kind of in the way. But uh, we've got it here. So we're starting with the third one. Uh, for positive. Um, actually, I, I put it into the fourth one there. Sorry about that. So we've got the, the third one here for positive, and that's for the red wire. Um, and really, color doesn't matter. As long as you're matching the um, color at the sensor and the panel, then you'll be good to go. But in our case, uh, we are using proper traditional colors. Um, so red goes to positive power. And then we have the black ground wire uh, for negative power. Um, and that's going to go into the negative aux terminal. And we got that in there. And just tighten it down so they're good to go. And then we're doing the two uh, data connection wires. And um, I do want to point out that each zone on the NEO uh, uses an end of line resistor. Uh, these zones aren't set up, so they're just set up at the panel. But our resistor is at the sensor here, end of the line. Um, and they're, they're 5.6K ohm resistors. Um, so that's color code. Uh, it's green, blue, red, gold. Um, is the one you want, and they come with the NEO system. So just uh, make sure to include those, otherwise it'll show zone open, and you don't want that. So uh, we're going to connect uh, the first uh, one here. We're, we're doing zone one, and we're doing its common terminal. And we've got the first data connection here, and we've inserted it, tighten it down. And then we have the, the common connection here, the other zone data connection. Open that up. 
and just insert it into the slot and tighten it down. Okay, and our sensor is nice and secured. All the connections are good. And so we're going to power up our NEO system. We're going to start with the backup battery, um, so we don't have any scary sparks this time. I mean, there are still sparks, but <laughs> what can you do? Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to plug in the transformer to provide full power. So we have our NEO system powered back on. Um, I'm just going to show you the programming that's needed for a new hardwired zone. Um, it's mostly setting the zone definition and uh, assigning any partitions. So first we're going to enter into programming, so that's star 8. It's going to ask us for our installer code, which we have ours at the default of 5555. Five, five, five. And then we're going to enter 001 for zone definitions. And then you're going to want to uh, find the three-digit zone number of the one that you're using. We have ours set up at zone number 1, so we can uh, that's the, the default one, so we can just press star to confirm. And then it's going to ask us for the three-digit zone definition. Now, um, you should look in the manual for your NEO system to see the complete list of zone definitions, but if, if you scroll through them, uh, you can see a couple of delay options, like entry-exit delays. Uh, you can see an instance. Um, you see interior. Um, so we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go, we'll go with interior, and uh, we'll press start to confirm it. And then it's going to take us to the next zone, but we don't need to uh, set up a second zone right now. So we'll just press uh, the pound key to go back, and we'll repeat that until we're back at the, the main manual. So that's how you would uh, assign a zone definition. Um, I just want to quickly show you how you would assign a partition if needed. Um, so, and how we see our, our camera guys moving around, so that's why it says there's an open zone on the keypad. But anyway, um, so you, you get into programming, star 8, and you enter the installer code, uh, 5555. Five, five, five. And um, that's, that's how you get into programming again. And so we need to um, do partitionings. Um, so we're going to go to 201. Uh, this is for partition 1. Um, 202 would be partition 2, 203 partition 3, etc., etc., up to partition 8 on most DSC NEO systems. Uh, some Power Series NEOs will only have uh, six partitions. So um, 201 through 206 or 201 through 208, depending on what you need. But we went to 201 for partition 1, which is the one we want to do. And um, so we're going to uh, press star to select. You can, you can go through and select other. Uh, the, the numbers are organized by um, groups of eight. So you have the first eight zones. Then you have 9 through 16, 17 through 24, etc. But we're work working on zone number one. Remember, we assigned it to uh, the, the onboard slot one. So zone one, we press the star key to continue. And then you're actually uh, just toggling. Um, uh, you, you can do, uh, well, you enter the, the star key to change it, but you can do uh, N for no or Y for yes. Um, we want ours to yes. I'm going back out a bit. Um, OK, there we have zone one set to yes. Um, well, we toggled it uh, there. It's on. Zone one is yes. You see it there on the screen. Good. And if we go, if we press the arrow keys, we can toggle to the next one. Um, zone three, zone four. Okay, so you see that they're all yes. That's fine. We, we were just setting up one, so we can back out to the main screen here. And uh, so that's how you would uh, you want to toggle that to yes for the partition you want to do. Um, say we wanted to do it no, um, and we were doing it for partition two. Um, say we didn't want it to be enabled, uh, we, we'd have it set to N, which we see there, and we're not going to toggle that. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to pound exit, but make sure uh, all the partitions are correct, so that way it's only responding on the partitions that you want to work with. So, so that's how you would add a hardwired zone to a DSC Power Series Neo security system. If you have any questions about the DSC Power Series Neo or about alarm monitoring in, in general, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.